So you hop on the mic and you say, all right, ladies and gentlemen, this time the bride and the groom, they want to do a photo. It's going to be a photo with you and the bride and the groom, and they've asked for everybody to be in this photo. Then once, every, once everybody's out there, they look at their checklist and it says, play shout. So you know you make me want to shout, and everyone starts doing the shout because you've tricked them. You've taken a group photo, but now they're all out there. They're a captive audience. Now you're doing the shout. Then you go into the next song, and, and you just follow the checklist. It's like painting by numbers DJing, and it allowed me to produce millions of dollars of revenue by having a duplicatable system. Instead of letting each DJ choose his own artistic merits and let him kind of figure it out, it took me years to figure out that Billy Jean and Rapper's Delight were perfectly fit together. It took me years to figure out that Brick House should always be always be played dj rule number two brick house shall always be played before play that funky music or it took me years to figure out that whenever the party's dying there's only certain songs that everyone knows and so we created a party starter disc and on that disc it's whenever the party's dying you just grab it and there's like the cha-cha slide and there's the uh electric slide and the cupid shuffle and there's the oh, wow baby wow, baby. You know, all those songs are all on one uh, CD. And that's how you do it, man. You make a checklist. It's just, it's a system. It's so good because you can improve a checklist. Once it's written down, you can go back to it and change it and improve it. 